So I'm curious from both of your perspective, what excites you about the future of this industry and the future of our products? Um, what challenges do you see and, and what impact do you think we can have? So that's, that's four big questions wrapped up into one. Um, James, what, uh, what strikes you? Um, well, I suppose that the, the one thing that I'm, I'm really looking forward to is expanding out into uh, different areas. So like non health industries, because I think what happened with Rhapsody is we picked the one of the hardest things to integrate because HL7 is so complicated, the way it works and um, the fact that no specification is sent with it. It's uh, intrinsic to the to the to the standard. Um, and Rhapsody got so good now that it's got to a point where. I believe it's 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 better than an, an, any other industry standard uh, interface. So I don't know um, insurance or finance that kind of thing. Um, I I just can't see how another engine can be as good as Rhapsody when it comes to doing that kind of interfacing. So I think it'd be cool to move into um, a different industries. Um, but within the healthcare industry, obviously we're going to talk about it at some point today is uh, web services and fire. So um, that's going to be, that is already a big thing. And James, uh, I, I know you're across the pond, so you don't have uh, some of the government standards and, and uh, things that are put onto you by the U S but uh, re very recently they put out a couple of standards uh, requiring um, insurance companies to be able to use uh, certain kinds of interfaces. And those are things that uh, CorePoint and Rhapsody are both uh, readily and available to use those standards, whether it be uh, fire standards, X12 standards that they're currently using. We have those in our, in our, um, uh, in our uh, tool chest. And so we have the ability to do those things. And so we are, and I believe sales is already looking into a lot of people who are, yeah, they're healthcare related because they're insurance, health, health insurance related, right? And there are other companies that are coming to us and saying, okay, well, yeah, we could integrate this by ourselves, but that would take a long time. And you guys already have this. Can we put you in the cloud? And can we send this information to you? Can you transform it to uh, uh, a format that we already understand, or can you transform it into the format that we uh, that the government has mandated on to us uh, that that needs to be in place by next year? So I think um, there are a lot of other industries that are going to come into our um, our, our field of view because of uh, uh, the government mandated standards that uh, that they put in place. And so I, I realize that 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 is coming to us, and we're we're going to definitely be expanding into some of those areas. And that's why we're one and two class. Yeah, I, I believe. I mean, that's why that's why we are one and two uh, in, in in class. So. You mentioned um, the the cloud as well. That's obviously another big thing that everybody's talking about moving into the cloud. And um, I'm 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 sure that um, uh, CorePoint could do that, been able to do that for a while. Um, and that's something that Rhapsody we're doing at the moment now as well. So it's actually cheaper long term when you think about it. For you don't have to have the hardware move into the cloud. You don't have to support it. You don't have to pay um, the staff to support it either. And they can specialize in other things instead that are within the hospital rather than having to specialize in, in the hardware support. But you, you, you are, core points, definitely in the cloud. Yeah. yeah. And so I think there's different versions of uh, what we consider to be in the cloud. There's this idea of you have a computer and it's available anywhere on the internet and then you install CorePoint on it or you install Rhapsody. Look, it's in the cloud, right? And that's what a lot of versions of uh, CorePoint and Rhapsody in the cloud in Azure or AWS currently is. And in the future, in our, our future, in our combined future, there will be um, a product that we're looking for that combines all of the best things about Rhapsody and best things about CorePoint and into a cloud-based solution that is natively cloud, that is not using SQL backend or whatever, but is usually is using the Azure SQL backend and things like that. It's uh, optimizing things that only cloud-based solutions could do. Right now, we're just we we have virtual machines in the cloud, and both products um, are installed there, and it it works. But uh, there will be a native cloud version that's the best of both worlds, and we'll get there eventually. But uh, that's that's um, our our path to uh, combining the uh, the best of both worlds.